please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. When you do, don't forget to click on all. Because if you don't, you might not get notified of all of the videos. So make sure you click on all. And don't forget in the comp in the description area, please consider contributing to this particular ministry, either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box. Good evening, good morning. Good afternoon to all my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and to our lost brothers and sisters in Islam. Welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss a couple of memes that is really a little... <clears throat> <laughs> Awkward. And I don't know if we as Christians should be celebrating a waiting that day or if we should be in a combination thereof. Yep, I am talking about a meme like this. People get ready, Jesus is coming. Soon we'll be going home. Yes, in the Bible we are told that this body is just a temporary tent. But, <clears throat> at the same time, there is going to be a lot of people that is going to be taking the phrase from the movie series, Left Behind. About a week ago, and I now wish I had saved that meme so that I can show you because I really don't remember the exact wording. But it talked about, and it said something along the line, one day there will be no Christianity. And I made the remark, and it is called the rapture. Several people liked that remark. I wonder if I could can find that. But in this one, it was a different kind of a remark. My remark here was, 
and unfortunately Muslims and atheists will be left behind. What are we doing to get the word out? What are we doing to get the word out? After all, Matthew twenty eight, sixteen through twenty is the Great Commission. It tells us short and simple to spread the gospel. I think, well, maybe. I think I may have found the other one. Nope. That wasn't it. Okay. The whole point of it is that as we are going about our day to day life. What are we doing? To tell the others even if it's in our close-knit friends, our, the people we work with, about The gospel. Here is a modified one. I think this was done after my comment to it, but I'm still looking for the one I made the comment on. 
I am yet to find it. One day the Muslims will rule the world after the Christians' rapture. The great evil will arise because Muslims, because of Muslim influence. Well, you seen a other meme that was similar to it. I've looked for quite a while and could not find the other meme that I've replied to. So, but we should have mixed emotions of that day. Happy about going home and leaving this decaying earthly body, but sad because There are so many unsaved souls. And Mr. and Miss Muslim, that is all that we are doing. We are hoping that you realize that we just want you to be a part of our family. Not that of a literal family, but of our Christian family. Come, come and be a part of our family. Where Jesus is our big brother. And you can't get a bigger brother than that. Come on to Jesus. He's awaiting. Not to be saved. We do these things because we are saved. So, if you are not yet a Christian, I do strongly encourage you to be baptized. If you cannot be for some reason, whether if you are in a Islamic country or there is a drought going on or for some other reason, Pray to God that he accepts your heart. Our God is a merciful God. If he knows that there are reasons why you cannot be baptized, I have faith although I don't have any proof of it, but I have faith that he will accept your heartfelt prayer as a temporary substitute. After all, in the Old Testament, they had to sacrifice animals as a temporary substitute until Christ came. Did you get that? Although I am not saying that you should then sacrifice a uh, animal, but there was a temporary item that was given to them to ask for forgiveness until Jesus came. 
So, let us know down in the comment section if you have decided to give your heart to God and give your whole being to God. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and have a blessed day. There is one more message coming up at the end. So, when are you Muslims going to get it? There is a problem. No, not a. There are several problems, potentially counting into the hundreds of problems. about Islam and I don't know if I will have the time to cover them all instead why don't you come to the one that says in John fourteen six, I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father except by me. These are Jesus' words. You can't get to the Father by any other means. Not by me, not by Hatun, not by David Wood, not by Dr. Al-Fadi, not by Joel Osteen, not by anybody else that you can think of, not even through your Imam or Muhammad. The only way to heaven is by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who died and paid the penalty for our sins. Mark eleven twenty eight says, Come unto me, all, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, at which weary and labor means the same thing, and I will give you rest. Jesus wants to give you rest and peace, peace knowing, knowing that you are going to go to heaven. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Did you catch that? Believe in Jesus. Become baptized. And but and put your total faith in Jesus. Quran says, 354 and 830, that Allah is the best of deceivers. If he's the best of deceivers, how do you know he is not deceiving you? Think about that. If... Allah is the best of deceivers, as 354 and 830 tells us that he is, because Allah admits to it. How can you be assured he is not lying to you? In 46 verse 9 of the Quran, Muhammad says that he does not know of his salvation and therefore cannot guarantee anybody else's. Wait a minute. Think about this, Mr. and Miss Muslim. Muhammad was the best example of a Muslim, and yet 
he does not know of his salvation. Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father, have came to earth willingly just so he can pay for the penalty of sin. Are you ready to be a Christian? Jesus is waiting, but there isn't much time left. The end is drawing near. And you don't want to be left behind. When you are ready, I know of many Christians that would love to help you be saved, and I am one of them. We are not here to hate you. If we were, if we did hate you, we wouldn't be doing what we are doing. We would just let you be and keep the gospel to ourselves. Instead, Jesus said, there are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place. We all can live in heaven. We just need to accept. We just need to accept his invitation. Contact me when you are ready to give up Islam. Thank you, and have a great day. And don't forget, in the, in the description area, please consider contributing to this particular ministry, either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box.